where are they now? Horses that thrilled us over the years at Emerald Downs dot the landscape all around Washington State, thriving in varied second careers. Currently working on a third career is 15-year-old Washington-bred Will to Power. The son of Rio's Lark was trained at the track by Robbie Bays. Me and my wife uh, bred and raised him, and uh, you know, he was a good looking boy, handful to be around. Will to Power was very willing in early training. With looks and personality, Bays was optimistic. He just wanted to go and go and go, and he just, uh, he dragged me around there every day, and you know, I thought, wow, what a racehorse. Results in races weren't spectacular, however. His best finish was in a 2002 maiden race. Will to Power might beat them all in the center. Will to Power coming through with Jackie Story. Jackie Story burst clear on the inside. Will to Power the center. And they come to fight it out. But Jackie Story, the first time starter, wins it by two lengths to Will to Power. Bays retired him after the 02 season, but knew he'd make a good event horse or jumper and sought a new home. We found another place, and when we do that, we always tell them if it doesn't make it, you know, just bring them back to us and we'll find them another home. And uh, the next gal that got them just loved them and was jumping them within a month. Transplanted New York horsewoman Mary Torino was seeking an event horse to train and gave Will to Power a tryout. I went and tried him and rode him for about two hours. He was tough. He was kind of going faster and faster at the canner. <laughs> But he ended up uh, winning my heart and I just, I went with him. We ended up bonding tremendously and he really, I'm, I'm surprised and amazed at what he's done for me. He's a pretty special horse. Neither horse nor rider had ever competed in show jumping, but that quickly changed. I had a, I had a goal of three foot six and then it ended up that I was able to get up to three foot nine. So I exceeded my goal, but it took about eight years. There was the Evergreen Classic. We did the money class where you win a little bit of money. I think it was a $500 jumper classic or something on the Sunday. And the first year I was fourth. Second year I went, I was third. And then in 2013, I was second. So that was a highlight. He competed in the prestigious Canadian Premier, taking top prize in four different classes. He enjoyed it, every bit of it. I have to say, he loved his job. He loved it. He thought it, he was just looking for the next fence. After eight years of competition, physical issues kept him from rigorous training, but it was a long, great run. Torino found a new home for her beloved Joey, currently in a third career living in Yelm. He resides on Patty Wheeler's property, the grandmother of 11-year-old Kaylin Lasher, who takes him out for trail rides and some possible eventing in the future. Will to Power, a happy story that isn't ending.